All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this entire shield in Plasti Dip, except for the handle, really. Everything else on the shield is gonna be covered in three layers of Plasti Dip. Plasti Dip comes in cans like these. Some of them are spray cans. This one's just the paint on can. Basically, the difference is paint this on with a brush or the spray can you literally just spray over the shield. Now, the spray paint is easier to use by far, but it's not as cheap as the paint is. The paint is about $7 a can, and I forget how much the spray costs, but it's more, and you get less out of the spray can than you do than the actual paint on stuff. Also as well, whenever I use the spray paint can, it didn't go on very thick. As I said, I needed like seven cans to actually have the proper thickness that I needed Plasti Dip, as opposed to this only requires three layers of brushing it on and you're good to go. So it was a waste of money and it, it kind of gave it a bubbly texture. It wasn't a smooth texture like I wanted but that may have just been user error or something like that. It may not be the actual product itself, but it's up to you to decide what you want to do, but I stick to the paint stuff myself. Basically, whenever you use Plasti Dip, you're just gonna shake it up. It's important to shake it up. It's not gonna work unless you do shake it up, but once it is shaken up, we just take off the cap. There's a little can lid here, pop off that. something like this. I get the black Plasti Dip. They come in different colors, but black is the best for me because the paint does chip off. You can't really see it that well with my style of weapons, as opposed to if I used a yellow, that will really show up. But uh, the way that you paint it on is you literally do the same thing you did with Dab. You dip it into the can, and then you brush it on there. And I just use a piece of blue foam to brush it on there. I'll give you a separate angle here to see what I'm doing. All right, so you see, there's the Plasti Dip part. You literally just brush it on like the dap that you used or paint or anything else. Try and get in all the cracks and crevices. The first layer is not going to look very good. The first layer is going to seem very thin and streaky, but that's the reason why we're gonna put on three layers instead. Three layers actually helps uh, not only make it look good, but it will also hold together better. You can use four or five, but I've found that it kind of use it will be stronger because of that, because you're using more layers. But I have found that it comes out a lot streakier, kind of like if you're doing a painting and you paint up like really thick paint on it, you can really see the depth of it, which is sometimes good for paint, but not for a smooth shield. You know, literally just paint it on. And as I said, you're going to cover everything. Uh, the, the actual boss in the middle here we're going to cover six times. Not only because of the fact that we want to cover up all the texture on this ball to hide it and make it look smooth, but also because this takes the most beating out of all the shield and you want it to stay on there. And the more layers that you add to it, especially on the edges here around where it would normally rip off, the stronger that it will be and the longer it will last. So we're definitely going to add way more layers onto the boss itself and the rest of the shield. I have had four of these style shields for about a little, I think it's a little over two years now, and they have held up to the test of time. The only thing that I've ever needed to repair some of the time was the boss because it ripped off every now and then. Everything else, perfect like as if it was new. So everything else just gets the three layers.
that we've got the entire front and pretty much most of the back. The only thing that I haven't uh, covered is the inside of the handle, but I do still need somewhere to grab onto that's not Plasti Dip right now. So the interesting thing about Plasti Dip is that by the time that you're done covering the entire thing in Plasti Dip, the top part, the thing that you Plasti Dip first, is already dry. So you can just start on the second layer. You don't have to wait for it to dry because it's already dry by now because it would have taken you a while to get around the entire shield. So that's one good thing about Plasti Dip is once you're done with the part that you started, you just go on back to the beginning again and just keep on working until it's covered in three layers. So we'll see you in a bit whenever it's entirely covered in three layers. Alright, so my camera ran out of batteries while I was doing the first and second layer. Basically this is what the second layer looks like. You can barely see some little parts of fun foam here and there. That's a good sign still, as long as you can barely see it on the second layer. Like you can see around this edge and everything, there's some places. Uh, I did not Plasti Dip the handle or inside the handle right here. We're going to do that after I get all the layers on the outsides because I need something to grab onto that's not Plasti Dip so I can rub Plasti Dip all over it and everything. So what we're going to do is the third layer and that'll be the final layer for the face. We'll keep on adding layers to the boss and then we'll start adding layers into the handle hole itself.
All right, this is what the shield looks like whenever it has three layers of Plasti Dip on it. You can't really see any of the fun foam anymore. It's all covered in the Plasti Dip as well as it's still going to be just a little bit streaky. It's going to have a few brush strokes on it, but if once you give it a little bit of time, it'll smooth itself out after a little while. But as I said before, what we're going to do next, we're just going to work on this boss. We're going to put six layers on there, so that means I'm going to put three more at least, and then I'm going to work on the inside of the handle.